Hey guys, it's Colette and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I decided I wanted to film another chill chatty draw with me, but this time it's a little bit different because I finally reached 200 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for all of your supportive comments that you leave. They really boost me and my confidence for my YouTube channel and they just make me feel really happy about the art that I make. Uh, yeah, and I just want to thank you guys because they always brighten up my day. Also, I know this has been a very long-awaited video, and I'm sorry I haven't posted it sooner. Um, I've honestly been procrastinating on the voiceover and the editing because I'm very bad at voiceovers. And editing a normal length of a video just takes such a long time, and I've been really busy with school and stuff. So. My next milestone I definitely want to reach, hopefully, maybe by the end of the summer, is 500 subscribers. I am so happy that we got to 200, though, and I just... I can't believe it and I'm just so excited. Also, I know some of you guys joined my live stream. It was like a couple days ago, maybe about a week ago, and I had a drawing. I was uh, starting to color in the live stream, but I couldn't finish it or something that day because I think I had a lot of homework that my math teacher gave me, so yeah. Also, I have like 10 videos that I've edited and I just haven't posted them yet, so there's gonna definitely be a lot more videos coming up soon. Also, because it's almost my summer break, I'm going to start posting a little bit more regularly and it might continue even after my summer break stops, but I'm not sure. I hope it will. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to post every Saturday. Some weeks I might post more frequently and some weeks I might forget to post or get too busy. And don't worry if I don't post, it just probably means I forgot or I just got busy with something. Also, I wanted to mention that I did the sketch of these three girls off camera. Sometimes I find it hard to kind of sketch with a camera camera watching you i don't know why it's just kind of a personal preference to not have a camera by you when you're sketching i don't know i know um like about two years ago when i was first starting my youtube channel i did like a lot of speed paints and they were all time lapse but honestly i think that it actually made it harder for me to draw uh when i was filming me drawing so that's why i don't like to do the sketch i find it fine to do like the line art and the coloring on camera but just the sketch something about it's just off when i try to film it. also in this drawing i use microns and a faber castell fine liner i know microns are like super hyped up and they're like the fine liner that everyone uses to outline their drawings with honestly i don't think that they're that special i think that they actually smudge the marker and that the ink isn't as nice as i'd like it i usually use a hulu fine liners but for this drawing i kind of wanted to make it a little bit warmer i don't know i i just kind of wanted to experiment a little bit so i tried um the girl on the right has like this auburn color and the girl in the middle has this really dark brown color i know it kind of looks like black on camera but in person it looks uh, also like i kind of wanted to compare and contrast the fine liners that i used in this drawing so the girl on the left uh she i used a normal black ohuhu fine liner for that i find it really easy to use ohuhu fine liners i just think they're really nice there's a lot of different varying sizes that make it really easy to like fine line your drawings also they're not as expensive as microns which is nice and i honestly think that their quality is better so also please excuse my dog in the background <laughs> he walks really loudly on my wood floor so yeah anyways um also in this drawing i was kind of experimenting with a new art style it's kind of a little bit more chibi than i'm used to i think the eyes are kind of different than my usual style and the mouse i kind of tried to experiment with honestly i'm really bad at drawing mouse and i'm kind of bad at drawing people in poses i have no problem drawing realistic things but i can't draw people in poses it's just weird uh yeah I've also seen a lot of YouTubers do this thing where basically if they have like a lot of extra space on their paper, they, they just do random doodles around the page and I didn't kind of want to do random doodles but at the end I start kind of doing more doodles. It kind of like brightened up the whole page a little bit better and also I just added a random eye drawing because I love drawing eyes. In this drawing I'm also using Ohuhu brush markers. I'm using the pastel and the skin tone set. I think I might have mixed up some of the markers so some of the pastel markers got into the skin tone set and some of the skin tone markers got into the pastel set. I honestly don't really care that much but uh, just like if you think that there might be like more markers than there actually are in the set or like less then that's why. Also, before I color in a drawing, especially like a finished drawing, I kind of want to test out all my colors just to see how they look on paper. Also, you can see that like the paper that I tested the markers out kind of has a different tint than my sketchbook paper. 
uh, but it's kind of nice to just kind of see what markers you have because sometimes marker caps can be really misleading to the color that actually like it's pigment it's just like completely different like once I had this uh, pink marker that I really liked and I just really liked the color but the color wasn't actually pink it was like a neon orange which was really weird oh and then I also once knew this person and they had this marker set that I gave to them for like a present and one of the markers in it was called fresh green and it was like yellow and it was just kind of weird and we always laughed at that because it was like so misleading but it was like a great example of how misleading a marker cap can be um throughout this drawing i also just use a who markers i didn't use any other markers usually when i draw i use a lot of different types of markers like in one drawing i did i don't know i just feel like sometimes some marker sets don't have the color that you're looking for but then the one right next to you does so why just stick to one and and just use all of them However, I've been wanting to kind of break in the brush tips on my Ohuhu markers. The nibs are just like so firm and I find them kind of hard to draw with. I really like when a tip is more flexible instead of just firm at the bottom. That's one thing that I notice about the Ohuhu markers. I know that the brush tips are reversible which is really nice for when they like start to wear out or if you want to try to refill them with Copic refillers. I also just like the shape of the Ohuhu marker. I feel like it's really nice to hold and it's just like the perfect size and they they have a really nice variety of like hues in their sets. Also on most of my videos where I do traditional on my channel, you guys probably see me use my 72 set of Copic markers. Honestly, Copic markers are way too hyped up. They are not as good as a lot of people say they are. A lot of YouTubers are like, oh my gosh, I die for these. They're amazing. And I'm like watching their video and I'm like, <laughs> you might want to do another voiceover on that. That's not true. I'd say one nice thing about Copic markers is that they don't really have a smell like a lot of alcohol based markers do. I know a lot of people are like, Copic markers can blend so well and I'm like, oh, who markers can too? If you do like the fading flaring method or the feathering method, like also I don't think any of those are real terms, but I call them that and I hope you know what I mean when I say that. <laughs> I'm gonna be watching this later and I'm gonna be like, what was I talking about? But yeah, I <laughs> won't do anything about that, I guess, because I'm too lazy. Anyways, back to Copic markers. They're just, <sighs> everyone loves them and I personally hate them. I feel like Copic gets way too much money for people who are like, I'm gonna try Copic markers because they're supposed to be so good. And then every time I tell someone that I bought Copic markers, they're like, what's that? And I'm like, they're $8 markers. And they're like, oh, like for a set, that's a good deal. I'm like, no, they're each $8. I'm like, who would do that? And I'm like, yeah, I'd buy those. Oh, <laughs> that's a waste of your money. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. Once I brought in a Huhu marker set to school and I let one of my friends use them and I was telling them like the price because they wanted to buy a set or something because they didn't have those markers at home. They had like a different alcohol based marker set and they really liked them for some reason so I just gave them the name and I told them the price because they wanted to know uh, and I was like yeah it's $25 and then one of my other classmates was like did you hear each marker is $25 and then I tricked my friend and I was like yeah each marker is $25 and they actually fell for it because they that I buy like expensive art supplies that are really hyped up that I probably shouldn't buy because a lot of other art supplies yeah they're like about the same thing I also feel like it's kind of weird to use such expensive markers I don't want like want to waste them or something I don't know it's just kind of like a weird feeling I also wanted to say that oftentimes my Copic like markers have varying brush tips like some of them are sticking out more like from the marker than the others and it's just kind of weird so sometimes they fall out of the marker i think when i was like a little bit younger like when i was seven or eight i uh used to like be really rough with my copic markers and i think that's why i have poor copic markers <laughs> they went through a living hell with me uh but anyways uh i think sometimes the brush nibs did fall out and I remember once though I had this colorless blender and I hardly used it and the brush tip just like fell out and it ran out of ink the next day and I was like oh that's sad and it was like the time that I used to only have like six Copic markers and it was like uh, rip Copic marker I also want to say that a lot of people say that you cannot refill Ohuhu markers and I say that is false information false information actually before the ohuhu brush markers came out i used to have a fine and chisel tip of ohuhu 
liquors they were alcohol they were the same thing they kind of looked a little different the barrel wasn't round it was like kind of oval instead they were fine I like the brush markers better just because I like brushes. I don't know. A lot of people say that. I just like them better for some reason. But uh, anyways, so yeah. Also, you can just refill alcohol-based markers with like cleaning alcohol that you use to like clean stuff. I don't know a better description of that. But like it just lightens the color a little bit. But it works fine if you don't want to buy refills or if you don't have enough money or if you're broke like me. This isn't supposed to be like a disclaimer to Copic or anything. I absolutely love their markers. I've just found some flaws in them and I've found that they honestly aren't as good as they're said to be and that there's a lot of other similar alcohol-based markers out there that are just like them, if not better. Also, like I said earlier, I did add some more designs to the background just because I've seen like a lot of art YouTubers just kind of add more designs in the background. So I did the girl on the left, she had like bubbles behind her. The girl in the middle had a heart and the girl on the right had diamonds. I kind of like this just because it kind of brings out like the tone that was based around them. Like the girl on the left was kind of based off of this like bright blue and pink theme. The girl in the middle kind of had this like nice matcha colored tea. Uh, color palette and then the one on the right had this nice light purple anyways I also went back and outlined the designs with a oh hoo hoo fine liner just to kind of make them more bold and outstanding from the rest of the draw I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching to the end and I'll see you on my next one bye